love that tune. Um, so we're playing Strider uh, for the uh, ZX Spectrum, uh, 1 to 8K version. Um, one of my favourite Mega Drive games, uh, this is one of the reasons uh, why I bought this game back in the day, because I used to play on my friend's Mega Drive, um, and I used to be amazed uh, at the uh, cartridge version. Um, but then I bought the Spectrum version, it wasn't as good, but it was still Strider, and it was still class. And it's a US Gold game, converted by Teartex under the Go label, and it's a nice conversion, stripped back, but it's, it's, it's Strider, it's Strider on the Spectrum. Uh, so we've got uh, infinite lives on this one. Uh, my 1 to 8K version used to crash. Uh, so I never completed it. Um, yes, yeah, so a very stripped back, as I said. Um, nice, nice um, blade sound effects, but it does get a bit annoying. Uh, I can complete the Mega Drive version, uh, which can be tough. Um, I think my version used to crash ran randomly at different stages. Um, so we've got cheats on for this. Infinite lives. Nice use of monochrome on this conversion. Uh, Strider is just quality. Um, Always enjoyed it. It's just cool, isn't it? A really cool game. Uh, right, big muscly man coming now. There we go. Dodge the flames. Whoa, dodge the flames. Oh. Oh. Dodge the flames, dodge the flames. There we go. Yeah, so there's bits missing. Um... But overall, this is a this is a nice version. Uh, in the magazines, it scored pretty high, didn't it? Got a your Sinclair uh, Mega Drive, uh, bleh, Mega uh, Mega Game, um, but it was like you know high seventies, uh, mid eighties. Where have I gone? Uh, right, the laser. Uh, this takes longer than the um, Mega Drive version. There's lots of things missing, but it's um, it, it, it's still Strider. End of level buddy, uh, Cobra enemy. Whatever you want to call it, the sickle cobra. Uh, yeah, there's a big Russian theme to this, of course. Have it. Level one done. Uh, my version could crash now, uh, back in the day. The music's fantastic, really captures the uh, arcade. Um, I would definitely put this um, in my top 10 Sega Mega Drive games. Uh, yeah, the, the, the breakable door is gone here. Well, that was easy. Uh, uh, the wall mounted robots are not here. Uh, the rotating platform are non existent. And oh, where am I? Where am I? 
There we go. Uh, the guy in the bottom left of the screen there with the huge gun <coughs> is here in the arcade and the Mega Drive version, but he's been taken away. Uh, <coughs> oh, leap of faith sometimes this game. Gotta watch the mines. Oh, I need to get that. Got my probe. Okay, oh, so we have to jump here. There we go. Uh, yeah, no gigantic um, walking cyborg robots here. They've been taken away. It's close enough to be sat uh, satisfying this game. Big sprites, monochrome works really well. Uh, so we're in the airship now. Uh, no gigantic propellers. End of level. Great. Uh, I still have the big, uh, big box uh, physical version of this. Uh, Star Rider 2, of course, was, um, wasn't was an arcade game, but that is available on the Spectrum and is available on my uh, channel because I have reviewed it way back when. Piranhas! Oh. You don't get the dinosaurs on this level. You do get the t uh, Triceratopses. Uh, so now it's the Amazon uh, jungle level. No swinging ropes. But, you know, it's good. Wow. Deaded. Uh, even with the um, uh, Sinclair user uh, poke tape, poke tape, um, my version used to crash on my plus two. Um, I'm sure the 48k was a multi-loader. Yeah, we don't slide down the backs of the um, the Plodocuses on this level. Oh, we just jump off to our death. Oh, oh and again. And there's no end of level baddie as such on this level. Uh, some of the end of level uh, bosses are sort of combined. Uh, let's see a Triceratops. There we go. Very much like the uh, Dinobot from the Transformers cartoon. Slag was his name, wasn't it? There we go. Level 3 cleared. Uh, so I've lost four lives, so it would have been proper game over by now. Uh, but I'm just playing this just to uh, experience the full thing. Uh, I don't think you can get the large... I'm sure you, can, you should get the large blade. But I've played this the, the Mega Drive version so much. Um, things get convoluted. Oh, now I'm lost. I'll have to go this way. Uh, yes, the big ball. Uh, the big ball, android ball on this level. Uh, I have to jump that hole. Yeah, very brave conversion. Uh, this one, I think. Uh, is it down here? Oh, there's usually spikes here. They've gone. Everything's sort of here in a way. Uh, whoa! But 
but it is stripped back. Uh, balls, there we go. Uh, okay, so yeah, this uh, on the uh, arcade and Mega Drive version, you used to spin around this ball, sort of, sort of gravitational field. Uh, but you just have to give it a few whacks. I'm sure you could get the bigger blade. Uh, drop down here. And I think. Oh, okay. So they've okay. They've put the pirate. They've put the pirate from level two at the end. Kind of mixes it up. I don't think we have the end of level uh, uh, boss, end of game boss, as we did in the um, Mega Drive version. Um, kind of can't remember what. What happens next on this level? Leap of faith. Um, jump, jump, jump. Hello, there we go. Oh, oh, so they've just added the, um, yeah. They've done the best they can to cram all the elements in, I think. I suppose US Gold could have um, shrank all the, you know, the size of the sprites and all that kind of stuff and simplified it. Um, but I think it works. I think it's a nice version, this. One of uh, US Gold's better uh, arcade conversions. Under the Go label. I mean, Tier Tech's had a bit of a bad reputation for conversions, but this is pretty good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I forgot about him. Oh, my God. Really? Oh. Well, this isn't this isn't the normal end of the game, um, so I've never got this far on the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> just just jump just jump to your death, Tez. Okay, so yeah, jump here. Oh my God! Oh, see, new ground for me this one. Yeah, it was just frustrating. I don't know if anybody else had the uh, crashing issues on the uh, plus twos back in the day. Um, uh, but it was a game I used to come back to. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, I thought I did it then. I thought I did it. So they come from behind, and you can't duck their projectiles. Oh my word, just... I wish you could turn around in mid-jump. I think it was yeah, just a case of just jumping and hoping then. I think that's the last level. You have passed the test, now start the mission. So you just, it loops, I guess. Um, 
Does it? Does it just loop? Yeah, it just loops. Um, yeah, so we're just we're starting again. Um, scores gone back to zero. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm I'm always impressed with this version, even though it was frustrating back in the day. My version used to crash uh, randomly. Um, not sure why, uh, but it's nice to come back and play this uh, in full and uh, have a nice uh, Strider experience. Um, yeah. Uh, well done, US Gold. Another nice license. Um, you've managed not to mess up. Fire guy. Uh, right, so if you had this, what did you think? Did you enjoy it? Uh, did you play it on any other system? Did you have the Me Mega Drive version? Uh, the ST version, the, the Amiga version. Uh, I'm not sure what it was like on the Commodore. Um, but uh, yeah, I always thought this was a cool game to have uh, on the Spectrum. Because uh, everything Strider is cool, isn't it? So there we go. Uh, Strider for the 128K ZX Spectrum. Uh, a flashing blade of light uh, for US Gold. This bit does take a hell of a long time. There we go. I'll finish it there.